What's the big deal about nanotechnology? Well, actually, it's all about being very, very, very small. Nanotechnology uses particles that are nanometers across, and a nanometer is super tiny. A meter is made of one billion nanometers. Imagine comparing the width of a meter to one super tiny nanometer is like comparing the width of the entire Earth to the width of a marble. Your fingernails grow a nanometer every second. At the nanoscale, some materials, like gold, have unexpected properties. If you cut a gold brick in half, both halves still look gold and shiny. Cut smaller and smaller, and each piece still looks gold and shiny. That is, until you get small enough to be at the nanoscale. At the nanoscale, small changes in size can lead to very unexpected changes of property. Particles of gold about 50 nanometers across, like the ones in this liquid, no longer look gold but look green. Particles of gold even smaller, about 25 nanometers across, look red. Color isn't the only property that can change. Strength, electrical conductivity, and other properties of some materials can change at the nanoscale. For example, super tiny particles of aluminum, about 20 to 30 nanometers across, can explode. Someday this may be used in rocket fuel. So why should you care about nanotechnology? Scientists are using lots of different tools to learn more about this world that's too small to see. And they're figuring out how to design and create things that have surprising properties. Scientists are working to create tiny nanoscale bumps on glass that prevent dirt and grit from sticking. Maybe this glass will someday mean using fewer polluting chemicals. Other scientists are developing uses for carbon nanotubes, which are light, strong, and excellent conductors of electricity. Carbon nanotubes may someday make power generation and transmission incredibly efficient. Doctors are working on ways to use nanoparticles to target and kill cancer cells without the horrible side effects of chemotherapy or radiation. But with the great potential of nanotechnology, there also comes great risks. Nanoparticles are not necessarily harmless. For example, researchers found that carbon nanoparticles, called buckyballs, cause brain damage in fish. Scientists are working to figure out what harmful impacts nanoparticles might have on our bodies, other living creatures, and the environment. Where will nanotechnology lead? No one knows for sure, but big changes are coming from the small world of nanotechnology.